Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Resurrection Day. He is risen. My favorite three days of the year are Christmas, Easter, and July 4th. So, if that's not your cup of tea, I'll catch you next time. Happy Easter to all those celebrating, and half happy we are alive, and we have survived day to everybody who's celebrating. I got a little story to tell real quick. It was 1995, and I was in my early 20s, and I was wild and had almost died. And my brother from another mother, Fitzroy, said to me, in uh, words to try to calm me down and get me to be less wild, he said, Jesus can't save you every time. And I said, yes, he can. So here we are 25 years later, and I have survived near death over a thousand times. And the spirit of Jesus Christ is stronger today than it ever was, especially 2,000 years ago, at least amongst the people. I'm sure his spirit was pretty strong in his heart as he forgave everyone. That's like the coolest thing ever. Real life is dangerous as... Coolest weatherman on the planet points out this thing, the storm, the Eris alignment we are facing today as heaven and hell duke it out is absolutely nasty. Eris alignments tend to always bring heavy wind events, volcanoes, earthquakes, and general madness of severe weather varieties. Like we got another tornado debris signature southwest of Wascom, Texas. And we have an increasingly dangerous situation unfolding before our eyes. We have an SPC tornadic threat, even 5%, and these products is warning you to watch out. Anything higher, you're going to get hit. Remember, town by town and cell by cell basis, of course, but it's going to be numerous. We're talking possible long track tornadoes all the way from Houston, Texas, even into the Carolinas on Monday. So, it is a good day to stay grateful and weather aware. Hopefully, my mama and Lynn and her mama and everybody else out there will have a fantastic Easter, even though danger will be all around. The wind damage support system is growing. Note Louisiana, then note the absolute chaos and disturbance and trough duplication and perturbation. And nobody wants the perturbation, bro. Yeah, 2020 has been dark. It's always darkest before the dawn. So hopefully today is the day we turn the corner. Amen. And I'd like to thank my dad and my stepfather, for they were two very cool men who taught me to be the man that I am today. And I look forward to joining them in heaven someday, but no day soon. They were both Air Force cool. Jesse Farrell, spotter reported from earlier this morning, a home was struck by lightning in Flint, Texas. Thank Jesus there were no injuries. But being a Norse Jedi Christian, I can tell you guys that I agree with Mrs. Weinshank that this virus is the biggest cock block of all time. I'm sure she's talking about chickens. Asterisk. Look at me trying to tell jokes early in the morning. This was yesterday. We had some nasty weather tearing through Del Rio, Texas, and now it is moving east. As far as dangerous storms go, this is impressive, and it is nowhere near its final form as it has 48 hours or so to go and it is going to bring heavy snow up north heavy winds and tornadic weather pretty much all around and then it will bring tornadoes possibly all the way across and into the carolinas metaphorically symbolically and real lifely so it's best to stay on top of things and appreciate that which 
you have like electricity, water, food, all the doctors and nurses who are out there fighting to keep you, your family safe, happy, and healthy. Hopefully you're staying home for church today because Jesus, God, and whoever you worship, celebrate is in your heart. And thank you to all the essential workers out there, the truck drivers, the cashiers, the grocery store stockers, the janitors. You are our heroes. And may we figure out a way out of this absolute mess that we have been calling 2020. May our darkest days be behind us and we find teamwork and figure out that we are all God's children. And we still got a lot of time left on this planet because the end is not here. Not now and not anytime soon. We have now lost 21,000 Americans to the Corona COVID virus and over 100,000 of our fellow earthlings. So these have definitely been some dark and twisted times. So let us pray for all of them. And may their souls pass on to the better place and we meet them someday with smiles on our face. Being good is what I do. Or at least I try. I'm not perfect. But yeah, dude, today and tomorrow, it is definitely going to be wild. And so it is best to prepare for the worst and be super happy if you get the least worst. All right. Yeah, you got everything from all the brown that is high wind watches. The green in the middle is going to be the heavy rain and the flood spots. And the doo-doo brown is like, oh my God, these winds are so high. We're talking like 70 mile per hour wind gusts. And you may get four to five hours in some of these spots of wind, sustained winds of like 40, 50, possibly 60 miles an hour. And then not to mention the possible tornadoes that will break out in many of these areas. And then hail. And do you see those fro Austern eggs? The hail has been like three times the size of that, man. And these photos from Robert the Moon clearly illustrate that these are some dangerous times. I mean, that was the hail that fell in Del Rio as they had a hail shaft demon pelting their area. I mean, gander upon that monstrosity. And yesterday, somebody in the comments goes, they're geoengineering with the G5 towers. <laughs> and I laughed a lot because, dude, it's Eris. The alignment is like freaking clockwork. For almost three years now, every time Eris aligns with Earth and the sun, I'm like, dude, we're going to get a giant storm. And then there are going to be volcanoes. And then there's going to be like some earthquakes. And it's going to be crazy. And then people are going to be extra mad and fighting each other and throwing truffles in each other's faces. Every single air alignment. And so, but you know, whatever year it is, there's always somebody like, no, it's geoengineering. And it's the G5 towers. Or it's the harp. Or, you know, whatever. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm pretty sure this one's Eris, bro. Because, I mean, like, the solar system is real. It's ancient. And it's actually bigger and smarter than your smartphone. It's even bigger and smarter than the Google and the YouTube, man. You know, I can only testify to you what i know and believe with my own heart you can have your own opinion life is super cool crazy awesome like that and can you check out the size of that storm that's pretty major and the red means you might be getting tornadoes man and so i would like you your family to have a great day to appreciate all around you please stay home there's some crazy conservatives who've been spending a week telling people like you're not you're not a good christian if you're scared of the government and not going out to church I'm like, dude, don't be a dipshit, you know, bro? Man, like, we are playing defense throughout all of April to try and stay positive. And the best defense right now is you got them stacking boxes of corpses in New York underground in what used to be a park is best play defense now. And you can come up with your crazy conspiracy theories later because the death that is happening in the United States and around the world right now is real, man. You don't have like 250,000 people in on some grand conspiracy theory. This is a problem. It is happening. It is happening now. We need to figure out major new solutions 
for you, your family, and everybody else on this planet because the whole world has changed and old ideas won't work anymore and you can't fix your problems by throwing money at it or just being an asshole or using brute force. It's time for teamwork. And I do believe Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, told me that. He's been telling me that pretty much since I was born. That we can do it and we can do it together. Because God did not build us, create us, and train us to fail and be whiny losers, yo. And my mama, did I mention she's badass? And my friends have all been badass. And even my enemies have been badass. And so this is what I know, yo. And I love you. All right, hold on. Give me a second to catch my breath. Okay, so I'll be up and around and bringing you the information and hopefully a smile all day. And so back in the 90s, um, I got to work on a film called Empire Strikes Back in the Star Wars saga as the director's assistant and the producer was Irvin Kirshner, the guy who directed The Empire Strikes Back. Um... And so I would stand on set for like 40 days with him and the director. Next to them, that's basically just like a gopher. But we talked all the time about Yoda and Boba Fett and the legend and the legacy of the Mandalorians. And so, just like baby Yoda represents new life in a living fashion here on Earth. Because you know what? I could find the love of my life and then have some beautiful babies someday. You know what I'm saying? So hope is still alive and love is what got us here. So everybody stay cool. I love you. And I am grateful. I'm lucky and I am blessed. And I hope you feel the same. God bless everyone.